Hey guys, welcome to our video review of the Zenfone 3 ZE552KL. So this was officially introduced last August 14, 2016. But we have the retail version for about a week now. That is why uh, we would like to share with you our thoughts about it, the things that we like, and the things that we don't like on the Zenfone 3. Okay, so let's get started. First up, uh, for the design and aesthetics, so Asus took it to the next level by upgrading the body of the Zenfone 3 from a plastic back with metallic brush finish to an all metal aluminum and also they changed the button placements on the Zenfone 3 as you can see on the Zenfone 2 this was the volume rockers but on the Zenfone 3 they turned it into a fingerprint scanner and also they added a laser autofocus but uh, also they changed the position of the dual LED flash by placing out the right side of the camera. Also they changed the sensors for the cameras. So previously they used a Panasonic Toshiba lens. But on the Zenfone 3 they are now using a Sony IMX318. According to Asus they are the first brand to have this kind of sensors for the camera phones. Okay. And in terms of uh, design itself, in terms of thickness, the Zenfone 3 is slightly thinner than the Zenfone 2 because the Zenfone 3 only measures up to 7.7 millimeters while the Zenfone 2 measures 10.9 millimeters. Okay, but holding it at one hand, I still prefer the Zenfone 2 because of its curved back, as you can see right here, because it fits perfectly in your palms. Okay, and because of the metallic build of the Zenfone 3 it feels a little edgy so I, I need some more time using it you know to make me you know feel comp comfortable holding it in with one hand okay but on the design itself it's pretty good it's totally a huge upgrade on the Zenfone 3 but if there's one thing that I don't like on the Zenfone 3 is the capacitive buttons I mean we already since the Zenfone 5 we already noticed that the capacitive buttons doesn't light up so it's very difficult if you're not a Zenfone user you, sh you should uh, need to get used to it first okay so one of the huge improvements of the Zenfone 3 is that they added a fingerprint scanner at the back and what makes this unique compared to other smartphones with fingerprint scanner is that you can actually unlock the Zenfone 3 without pressing the home button okay so it works like this so we're in a sleep mode and then all you have to do is to place our fingers at the fingerprint scanner and that's it it automatically brings you to the home screen so you don't have to press the power button so it gives you uh, it saves you more batteries and then when you lock it you don't need to press the power button again all you have to do is double tap the screen and that's it and turning it on it's pretty fast uh, actually it's very accurate we didn't I didn't experience any problems or lags while using the fingerprint scanner it's very secure and easy to use okay next thing I like about the Zenfone 3 is the default SMS application that it's using okay so right now it uses the Google Messenger as its default app and if you are a Zenfone user, if you're a Zenfone 2 or a Zenfone 5 user, it still uses the Asus messaging, right? And we have to admit that the Asus messaging in terms of UI and design, it's not that very good and it needs a lot of improvements. Okay, so I'm surprised that Asus uh, used the Google Messenger instead. So what I like about the Google Messenger, it's because it has balloon effects when sending a text message and the uh, text are easier to read compared to the Asus messaging so it's a thumbs up for Asus Zenfone 3 for the UI it uses the Zen UI 3.0 with Android Marshmallow 6.0.1 okay so in terms of design and the animation of the Zen UI 3.0 it doesn't have it doesn't have a huge difference com compared to its previous uh, versions but we what we like about it is that you can still 
uh, customize it by changing the icon packs, the themes, and also the animation, and also the font style of the Zen UI. Okay? And also, you can lock the application by using an app lock to increase your privacy. And we're quite disappointed that Asus removed the snap view mode. So for those of you who doesn't know the snap view, uh, it enables you to have a guest mode on your uh, Zenfone. And according to my, our friends from Asus, they removed the snap view because it has, uh, it doesn't work on the Android Marshmallow. So for those of you who wants to have the snap view capability, you might need to uh, downgrade to Android Lollipop 5.1 or 5.0, but I'm not sure if it's gonna work with, this, if, if they already have a ROM uh, for the Zenfone 3, okay? So for the camera, it uses a Sony IMX 318 sensor along with f2.0 aperture in terms of uh, image quality taken by the Zenfone 3, it's pretty decent and uh, for your comparison, we managed to compare it with an iPhone 6, so you decide which one is better. Okay, so you guys check it out. So this is what the camera UI looks like for the Zenfone 3. So it has a couple of interesting modes such as the manual mode where you can tweak the white balance, the ISO and the focusing of the camera and also we have the HDR Pro mode, the super resolution mode, the low light and the selfie of course and the depth of field. So the depth of field lets you take a picture and it blurs the background. Okay, so that's the depth of field mode and my personal favorite the time rewind okay so it lets you take the perfect jump shot photo so what it does is uh, it lets you take a picture so upon pressing the shutter button it can you can rewind the the picture three seconds before and two seconds after you press the shutter button so the time rewind is pretty useful for those who likes to have a jump shot photo okay Next, uh, we have the slow motion and the time lapse feature, okay, and all smiles and the smart remove. For the camera, it supports 4K video recording, and uh, right now we all we also have a video showing the uh, video recording capability of the Zenfone 3, okay. As per the performance, the Zenfone 3, it, uh, it has a 4GB of RAM along with uh, Snapdragon 625 octa-core processor. So here is the benchmark score of the Zenfone 3. So it managed to get 62,355 points. And we played uh, high-end games with it. So we played the Star Wars, Galaxy of Heroes, and the NBA 2K16. Okay, so next video will show you how it... Uh, how it performs in terms of gaming, okay?
uh, in terms of battery life it's pretty decent we managed to uh, managed to use the Zenfone 3 for about a day and a half before charging uh, with LTE mode on and Bluetooth for my smartwatch and my earphones so it's also a quite an improvement from the previous version of the Zenfones okay so it has a 3000 mAh battery for the ZE552 KL to summarize our video review of the Zenfone 3 here are the things that uh, we didn't like on the ZE552 KL first up uh, I hope for the next update Asus would get rid of the bloatwares or the unnecessary applications because we notice upon booting the Zenfone 3 we find some useless applications that uh, actually doesn't have any use at all that is why uh, we have to remove it one by one but the good thing about this is that Asus allows us to remove it without any problem or restrictions or permissions so I hope for the next update they would get rid of it and for you to maximize the RAM and the storage of your device and another thing is uh, the capacitive buttons I hope they they will light this up for the next model because I think this is an hardware issue okay so aside from that uh, I have no problems with it for 8995 it's actually a steal for from the performance the design the camera and everything it's uh, it's a good phone it's a decent phone so if you give guys I'll give you guys a thumbs up or a B plus grade and that's it thanks for watching I'll see you guys later bye